trial of the four teenagers charged with murdering a woman during a carjacking will happen sooner than planned. Good evening and thank you for watching. I'm Devin Bartolotta. And I'm Cherie Skips. And the Louisiana Supreme Court has ruled that the trial has to start before the end of the year. Family members of the victims say they're thankful for that decision. Eleanor DeBone has tonight's top story. Glad to see it being brought a little closer in. It was a gruesome crime that shocked the city. It was a horrible incident. It's just a lot of disbelief. 73 year old Linda Fricky was getting into her car in Mid City last year when video shows four teenagers approached her. Prosecutors say at least one of them badly beat her and forced her out of the car. Her arm was stuck as they drove off, and Fricky was dragged to her death. The four teenagers, John Honoré, Brianna Baker, Lenaira Theophile and Marquel Curtis, are facing second-degree murder charges. District Attorney Jason Williams decided the teens will be tried as adults. The trial was supposed to begin this year, but a court judge ruled the trial will be pushed back till March of 2024. That came after the defence won a motion for additional time to respond to the state's DNA and fingerprint evidence. But in a new ruling, the Supreme Court decided that the interests of the victim's family in closure and of the defendant's interests in a speedy trial must be weighed and balanced. I'm excited. Uh, I'm very happy that it's going to be this year. We need to get to justice so we can move on and start the healing process. Ginny Lynn Griffin, Linda's sister, is calling for the teens to be served with the stiffest penalty possible. For them to be tried and, and go to prison for, the for what they did. Uh, they made that choice. The court case now must begin before the end of the year. We're going to go to trial. We're going to be there. We're going to sit in that courtroom. We're going to watch the whole thing and we're going to make sure not that justice is served. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. Now, there was some uncertainty over whether one of the teenagers, Lenara Theophile, would be able to be tried with the other three. At first, she was deemed not mentally competent. She was cleared to stand trial last month after a stay in a mental health facility. Well, we told you